Welcome again on this web application penetration testing series. Today, we want to learn about how to use div. So div is a command line tool to brute force any directory based on word list. Dirb will make an HTTP request and see the HTTP response code of each request. So basically how Dirb works. So it internally has a word list file, which has by default around 4,000 words for brute force. Uh, there are a lot of word list up available over the internet, which can also be used for the word list. You can use the payload, all the things word list. You can use the payload, intruder payload master or sec list as well. So div searches for the words in its word list in every directory or object of a website or a server. It might be an admin panel or a subdirectory that is vulnerable. The key is to find the objects and they are generally hidden. So div is pre-installed in your Kali Linux. And if you are using any other Linux distro, you have to install div. Uh, you can find the div repo via GitHub. So let's see how you can use the div so this is div present by default and when you hit div you see there are many options you can use with div so if you want to create a simple scan using div you can what you can do you can start your terminal and type div and just provide a domain name so div and provide your domain name which is now hit enter it will generate a word list and scan the target it will take some time to reflect the result once you have the result, you can search for directories. So Dib began the scan looking for those keywords among all the website objects. The result list with the response code and the size of the file of for each ping. Also, Dib starts searching the files of the folder which returns the response code as 200. It searches the entire folder with the word list and displays the result. Right? So the testing is running. I will show you the pre-scan result. So here you can see a directory is found. And when you open the directory, you can see the admin panel. So what is the purpose of DIRB in security testing? So the DIRB is look for almost all the web objects other than CGI scanners can't look for. So it doesn't look for vulnerabilities, but it look for the web content that can be vulnerable. And it use a predefined word list. So if you want to test with a special vulnerable list, you can do that as well. And you can find the word list here. This is the default word list path for div. You can check, go to the one section. These are the all the word list that div is used. So we can use div to test for a specific vulnerable object within a specific type of web technologies. Each web technology has a different vulnerabilities. They are not all the same. Dirb can help us look for a specific vulnerable object. 
specific to the particular technology, right? So you can provide the word list name as well in your scan like this. I'm using here. And then your word list path. User share div and then word list once and any technologies you want to scan. Now hit enter and div will scan only with 30 keywords. So div is quite a useful tool while you are doing security testing. We only need to type the command div followed by the URL of website and it will run the scan and then you have your result. The result is basically in the code format, status code and the file size. So the 200 is response code. That means the server is, uh, the file is or directory is available and rest of them is not available. So you can filter all these files with the help of response code. 